Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, all the birds are dying, all the fish are crying. Brother John, Brother John, I know that's just a little parody. I know it's just, I'm just trying to get your attention. It's happening. We're on the brink of World War III. Syria is killing its people in the streets. Libya just overthrew Muammar Gaddafi. Tunisia got rid of Ben Ali. The Ivory Coast told President Cabo that he absolutely had to go. And even Yemen wants President Ali Alabalalalala Saleh to please hurry and go away. Jose Mubarak fell in Egypt and the Muslim Brotherhood is winning the vote. Whoever thought that would happen? Palestine, Israel, Iran with nukes. It's all happening. And while that's going on, the birds, the fish, the cows, dying in mass kills around the globe, lake turning blood red in Texas, the Mississippi was overflowing, tornadoes ripped through the south of southern part of the Amer United States of America, America, an earthquake shook up Washington, D.C. and Oklahoma. The tide is turning red, 40 miles wide in Florida. Fish are washing up on the banks of the Chesapeake Bay, Redondo Beach, um, California, and now the red tide fish wash up on seven beaches in Florida. 7,000 cows died in Vietnam. Take a look what's going on. Brother John. Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John is just a figure of speech. It could be Brother Paul, Brother Mike, or Brother Theodore. It doesn't really matter. Or Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Or Huey, Louie, and Dewey. Or Lo, Mo, Larry, and Curly. It doesn't really matter, does it? What matters is we need to repent of our sins. We need to cry out to God. Somebody needs to get on their knees. We're on the brink of World War III. We're on the brink of the rise of the beast from the east. And I don't think America has a clue. What about that earthquake that hit Japan? How many signs do we got to have? And now prepare for riots in the euro is ready to collapse, according to the foreign office. British embassies in the Eurozone have been told to draw up plans. Listen to this for a minute. Read Revelation. it tell you? Go read Revelation 13, 13 and on. The mark of the beast. The rise of the beast in the... Okay. British embassies in the Eurozone have been told to draw up plans to help British through the collapse of the single currency amid new fears for Italy and Spain now. I thought the market just went up two days ago because the bankers have agreed to bail each other out. Folks, it's, it's nothing but a, it's hocus pocus. What are you talking about? It's a, mir it's a mirage. It's a facade. It's not for real. It's imitation. And as the Italian government struggles to borrow and Spain is considered seeking an international bailout, British ministers have privately warned that the breakup of the euro, once almost unthinkable, is now increasingly plausible. Karen Fox sent this to me. She's always good at digging stuff up. James he sent me some powerful stuff. Gary, Reverend Gary of Kentucky's all over the fact that America wants to sell 600 bunker-busting bombs to the UAE. Let's see if we can say that together. President Barack Obama wants to sell 600 bunker-busting bombs to the United Arab Emirates. Those things will go deep, 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 and they'll blow a bunker up. Why would you sell them? into the Middle East with Shiite Muslims on one hand and Sunni Muslims on the other hand and here's another jihadist and there's another jihadist here a jihadist, there a jihadist everywhere I look I see another jihadist why would you want to put bombs out there? we're worried about Iran getting nukes yet we're selling buster butter bombs in the Middle East 
I can't, I don't think I can take it. My, my blood pressure is going up. My blood is boiling. Not because I'm angry, but because of the urgency. I've read the Bible. This, my, my Bible's almost wore out. I've read it. Time and time and time and a half, if you will. The Bible says in, in the last days they'll call evil good and good evil. The scripture says because iniquity abound, the love of many is going to wax cold. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But it also says that men will run to and fro and knowledge will increase. And it also says men will be ever learning but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And it also says because of a lack of knowledge, my people will perish. And without a vision, the people will perish. And with a lack of knowledge, they'll be destroyed. We are living... I'm going to hold it together. i got a three-hour radio show I'm going to do here in about an hour. I've got preachers being arrested for cardboard signs on the street. I've got a couple in California getting fined for having Bible studies. I'm talking America now. We're not talking Sharia law. We're talking the United States of America, where there's supposed to be a constitution that says freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom to worship, freedom of expression. Where's it at? And a couple preachers got thrown in jail up there in Dearborn, Michigan for doing one thing. Standing on the street reading the Gospel of St. John. I've got it on video today. I want to show it on my show today. You might want to go to Liberty Broadcasting Network. Forget these other networks. Get real. Listen, if you're in a car or you're on a cell phone or, a, or an iPad or an iPod and you can't see what I'm going to be doing, we're going to be playing it anyway. It, I, the radio network goes around the world. It's called Liberty Broadcasting Network. Dot com. My show is called The Coming Apocalypse. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. I'm on from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. Today I'm going to show you about a great white shark. I'm going to actually show you a clip of a shark that bumped into a little boat. Where? In shallow water. I'm going to show you about a 103-year-old woman. They tried to evict out of her home. What? for a loan that a family member took out on the house that the woman didn't even know about. And the judge said, throw her out. But the people coming to move her said, we're not going to do it. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you an article written about me this morning about the red tide in Florida, how they're saying the pastor, basically what they're saying is this pastor might just be right. The Hosea prophecy has went from a laughing stock in January to now being acceptable in theological uh, college institutions now around America. It's no longer a theory. It's a reality. And if that's a reality, if the prophet Hosea is a reality, then maybe the Bible is true. And if the Bible is true, we've got sin in our lives. Then why are you sleeping, Brother John? Why are you sleeping, Brother John? Are you saved? Wow, I didn't even finish that. I, there's, I think she even sent me another article. Can I just look? Do you care? Can I look? Goodness. Uh, it's just crazy what's going on right now. There was something else that... I saw another article here. I got a minute and 12 seconds in this. Let me see. Uh, no. Urgent is... Uh, sanctions, no. Two-part warning. No, no, no. Let's see. Uh... Oh, diplomats, Iran, BBC News. Again, Karen Fox sent this to me. What, I got about a minute? I got a minute left in this YouTube video. Iranian diplomats are told to leave the United Kingdom after Tehran's embassy attack. The diplomats are working at the Iranian embassy in London must leave Britain by Friday afternoon. What? That's right now because they're five hours ahead of us in London. What's going on? Get out of there. Why? Because I'm telling you right now, they're getting ready to break into one of the bloodiest and ugliest wars. I don't know if it's World War III, but i tell you what. It could very well be Psalms 83. Go read it. Psalms 83, verses 1 through 5 or 6. Just go read it. Give your life to Jesus. Do it now. Hurry. Are you asleep, Brother John? It's time to give our life to Jesus. Do right now. Send me a personal message right here on YouTube. Right on my personal message. Send it. Title it. I want to be saved. Some people did yesterday. We've got 588 salvation since the beginning of the year. Why don't you get saved now? Time's running out. Is there going to be another year? Do it now in Jesus' name.